Today, we are going to be talking about five Lego deals that look amazing but are actually hot garbage. We're also going to be talking about a couple of upcoming gift with purchases from the Lego group. Which of these are a smash and which of these are a pass? Let's get into it. All right, up first here, we have the flower trellis display, set number 406A3, currently available for $150 spend on any theme at Lego Shop at Home. If you are going to buy some sets full price from Lego.com, one thing you can do to make it more worth your while is to make sure that you are purchasing an exclusive. I'd be looking at Eve and Wally here, very cute Disney Brickheads. You have Obi-Wan and Darth Vader, the Tusken Raider. So I'm looking here at the prices for the flower trellis to get only $40 or $50 back on $150 spend. is roughly 30% back on your purchase, which after paying fees, isn't really enough to make it worth your while, at least in my opinion. So I will be passing on this deal. Up next, we have a deal here from Walmart. We see the Hagrid's Hut Unexpected Visit available for $50 on in-store clearance down from its normal price of $75, which is just way too much for this scene. No one wanted a Hagrid's Hut this big. I would have rather seen it down sized from 60 to maybe 40. Instead, Lego went in the opposite direction, and I don't think this set is going to sell well at all. Even for $50, I don't see much of a reason to pick this up this year, since it will probably be on deep discount throughout the rest of his life if this is anything to go by. This is a pass for me. Up next, we have a Lego Avatar set. I guess this bird thing is called the Toruk Makto. I don't know. I didn't see the movie. But this tree looks really amazing. The base, the construction of the tree itself. Obviously, these purple and translucent pink parts look really amazing. The set launched in October of 2022, and it is currently scheduled to retire at the end of July 2024, coming up in just a few months here. I looked here and I saw this set was available for $83. That's 45% off of its $150 retail price. We can see on Amazon there have been $800 bought in the last month. Keep in mind, this doesn't tell us how many were bought at this exact price, but it tells us the 30-day rolling average. And right as I went to shoot this video, I actually realized it's dropped down even further to $67.99, 55% off. If we look at sold items, we can see that in new condition, this set is selling well, well below its $150 MSRP. So this is telling me that this set is inherently way overpriced from the get-go. If we look here on Bricklink's price guide for this set, it has sold 10 times in new condition in the last six months. That is not very much. Looking here, there's over 100 total lots available, 277 units available. There's tons of supply on this set, and there looks to be such little demand. 10 bought in the last six months is really, really low, even for a set of this price point. We can see the average price for six months is around $95. So pretty much what we're seeing on eBay. This set is scheduled to retire within the next three months. There's still only 800 bought in the last month. Putting it down to $68 has not really incentivized the market to purchase any more of this set. So what all this data is telling me is basically that this is a bad set with very little demand. If you want it for your own collection, maybe pick one up. In fact, it's such a cool discount. I would love to see what sort of rebrickables could be made. Avatar minifigures so far have not been proven to be valuable. Like I said, this tree looks great, but I'm not really sure what this back build is supposed to be. I feel like we could have taken either a slice off of the MSRP of this set, remove this and made it $30 cheaper, or just put that parts budget toward a more fleshed out base, a taller tree, more of these cool parts, you know. I just have some serious questions. I think I'm starting to kind of unravel why maybe there isn't much of an appetite for this set. This looks like about an $80 to $100 set. Not surprising that the market views it as a $95 set. I think it's pretty obvious at this point I will be passing on this deal. Up next, we have another deal on the 75337 ATTE Walker. This set is available in store right now at one random Walmart for $35. That's 75% off. No idea why that would be. Check the tape because this might be an in store return. Make sure those figs are in there or at least the tape looks untampered with. So even though this ATTE is not retiring until the end of next year, it looks like you could sell it today on eBay for around $90 or $100. Or if you want, you could pull out the Commander Cody and just sell that to recoup almost the cost of the entire rest of the set. The ATTE is a smash. Up next on Walmart here, we can see the Black Panther Wakanda Forever Kingdom Wars Throne Room set. Oh man, <laughs> this is another set with minimal demand. Currently it's available for $14.80 on Walmart. Unlike the last couple of deals we've talked about, this set is available online, meaning I can add this to my cart. Looks like there's a maximum quantity of three. I could always uh, try and place multiple orders. So this set actually is retired three months after retirement. It's still not sold out. But for the Bricklink seller, out there, this might actually be an opportunity. You are welcome. Over the last six months, the parts and minifigures in this set individually have sold on average for $48, meaning if you can pick it up 
today for 15. That's an over 3x part out value. The current items for sale average are $60. So that's closer to a four times part out value. It is possible that because this set is so unpopular and it has been parted out so many times by so many other sellers that the parts in this set are going to have a glut of supply and the price might stagnate for a long time. I don't think the, there's too many Wakanda Forever minifigure collectors out there either. Because there seems to be really, really low demand for this set, I am not really interested. We also have the Mario Reznor knockdown there. This set is right about half off. It's normally $70. Currently, you can get it for $37 and change from Walmart. We also have the Friends Beach Glamping set, 41700. We can see here this set retired technically at the end of 2022. However, it is still in stock over 15 months later. Beach Glamping is actually really amazing. If you ever get the chance, I would highly recommend it. But for whatever reason, there seems to be almost no demand on this set. It is available for 45% off, even though it's been a year and a half retired. If we look here on Amazon, this set has almost always sold below its retail price of $40. Again, it's just inherently overpriced. Right after it retired, it looks like it might've gone up to like $42, $44. Will this remain under MSRP longer than the ATST Raider? Leave your comments down below, but I will most definitely be passing on this set. For investment. And then also looking here, we have the Tenu Jedi Temple. It looks like it was $23 and change, wasn't selling, and now it's been put on $15. Man, this set is really just a race to the bottom. It was so insanely overpriced at $40. Nobody wants it. If we look here on Amazon, it's available here. These are literally third-party sellers who are picking this set up for Walmart for $16 and trying to sell online for $26, $28, $29. And yet, despite the low price, only $200 bought in the last month. That tells you everything you need to know. Do not pick this set up. Next up here, we have the City 4 Plus Wildlife Rescue Off-Roader. $50 MSRP, just crazy for the value you get in the box. Currently available for $29 and change. This set did retire last year. So should we pick this deal up or not? If we look on BrickLink, we will see 117 sellers have 513 copies of this set available. Meanwhile, in the last six months, it has sold a total of 13 times for an average price of $15.22, just 30% of the original suggested price. This set never should have been $50. It never will be $50. Pretty much the only reason to buy this set is for this exclusive lion figure. That figure alone has sold on average for $9 and change in the last six months. And look, it's sold nearly 300 times. So nobody wants to buy this set, but everyone wants to buy the lion figure in it. I will be passing on this deal. The next deal I do need to mention is the May the 4th promo for this year. Looks like we're getting a 260 piece battle droid carrier, including six to eight battle droids. A droid carrier is a pretty rare ship to be made in Lego Star Wars. If we look at the last one, this set is nine years retired, but Bricklink has it selling 17 times in the last six months for an average price of $148, almost four times the original manufacturer's price. Currently, this set goes for $284 on Amazon. That's crazy. And it looks like ever since 2021, this set has been selling between $200 and $300. We also have this set, 7929, The Battle of Naboo. When that retired at the end of 2013, looks like you could have picked it up for 19 bucks, $25 MSRP. And look here, this set currently goes for $180. So these are just a few reasons I'm really excited about this gift with purchase. We'll have to wait and see what it actually looks like. But if it sells out quickly, like last year's Death Star 2 gift with purchase, I'm very excited about how this set could perform for investment. If it performs anything like these last couple droid carriers, this could be something to really watch out for. And so when we're looking at some of these deals that aren't necessarily the best idea, keep in mind that I'm saving some of my capital so that I can deploy it into this gift with purchase when it does finally become available May 1st. So what do you think? Are you picking up any of these deals? Let me know in a comment below. Subscribe for more awesome content. Buy very carefully and have a great day.